The title of the project is Networks for Change and Wellbeing, Girl-Led from the Ground Up Policymaking to Address Sexual Violence in Indigenous Communities in Canada and South Africa. The, the main focus of it is really to look at the ways in which girls and young women themselves, who are the victims of sexual violence, uh, have been left out of the community of policymaking. And uh, we feel that this is a critical aspect of uh, deepening an understanding of sexual violence, but also taking action and policy change in relation to uh, sexual violence. The project itself is led with um, and by the girls themselves. Um, and so we, we want to move with the girls right from conceptualization to data collection, to data analysis and to dissemination and advocacy with the policy makers. We hear very often how communities say they're never consulted and they are never, their voices are never taken into consideration in this project. So this project aims particularly to um, sort of unearth those voices in local communities. We have uh, 15 researchers working across two countries. We have 40 partner organizations. So it's actually, and these are all uh, co-investigators who are already working in the area of participatory visual methodologies, arts-based methodologies, but there's never been a project of this magnitude uh, to look at what could we learn across communities within each country, across uh, the various projects, but then working across Canada and South Africa and working internationally in the context of a global organization such as the United Nations Girls Education Initiative, which is a, a, one of our partners. So it's, it's really the scope of it. Clearly, we want to uh, address sexual violence. So, so we, we hope that our uh, awareness raising, this uh, approach to uh, drawing on the voices of girls, uh, the approach to trying to uh, engage policymakers in a different way will have a major impact on laws, on enforcement of uh, protection for girls, uh, and uh, leadership amongst girls and young women down the road.